Technology is evolving at a never-before pace, with new and newer robots with never-thought-of-before capacities, breaking into the scene every other week. With the passing time, technology is overtaking the human force, much like our local, very human neighborhood cops that are appointed to prevent crime and disorder. Today, we will be discussing the top five countries adopting robot cops in 2022. Number 5. Dubai Dubai, being the most popular city in the UAE and leading the world in technology transfer in the artificial intelligence and robot industries, it's not surprising it's the first country to adopt robot cops for law enforcement purposes. The robot cop of this country is attached with rollers on wheels. It can bow, salute, talk in multiple languages, and scan faces for a better identification. It can also identify hand gestures from 1.5 meters away. Dubai police have recently launched the first Robocop in the UAE. Its main job is to liaise with the public. They can work and obviously survive in any possible conditions, including poor lighting, toxic environments, or small spaces. Robocops are considered to work more efficiently than human cops and they rarely make mistakes. They are immune from diseases, neither do they feel hungry or need to be fed. They can work in bomb squads and in radioactive or chemically contaminated areas. They discovered a robot which can help identify wanted criminals and collect evidence. If this experiment works out, Dubai police aim to replace 25% of its patrolling force with robots. Director General of the Smart Service Department states, Robocops can work 24-7 and will never ask for leaves in any case. Number 4. South Korea South Korea is leading in robot adoption when it comes to the restaurant industry and logistics. Just a few months ago, the South Korea Police Department stated that they want to turn their policemen into iron men, accompanied by robot dogs. South Korea's prison became the first prison to be guarded by a RoboGuard in 2012. These RoboGuards are 5 feet tall, armed with thick rubber wheels, possess a number of cameras, speaker, and a programmed self-patrol of the hallways of the prison blocks. The country has always been eager to deploy robots and metaverse technologies to skyshot country's growth. The RoboGuard possesses sensors to study human behavior. If it detects any abnormal behavior, moment, or action while making rounds, it will start recording and transmit the data about the situation in real time. The human cops present in the control room can decide what actions need to be taken at that time. Now, the question is, what about the instructions? How will they communicate with the prisoners? They use a two-way wireless system to communicate with the prisoners without leaving the room. However, a human guard shall be present with the Robocop at all times. But what's the point of having a robot guard if a human is going to control it from behind the scenes anyway? Well, these RoboGuards are also programmed with a pattern recognition algorithm, allowing it to recognize any harmful or out-of-the-ordinary behaviors from prisoners, including self-hurt attempt, physical attacks, or arson, in which the robot then proceeds to alert an officer to respond. In less dire situations, officers and inmates can communicate through the robot itself in real time, meaning response time is sped up immensely. Lee Baik Chul, the chairman of the Asian Forum for Correction, was quoted saying, The purpose to develop this kind of robot is to secure prisoners' life and safety, and to decrease the workload of correctional officers in a poor working environment. At the moment, these robots are not designed to physically confront inmates. The designers say that the next step is to have these RoboGuards conduct body searches. Number 3. Japan Straight out of the movies, Robocops will soon be on patrol in some Tokyo train stations. Seibu Railway has conducted tests on a security AI robot that can detect suspicious persons and objects and will soon become operational on a trial basis. Meet Perseusbot, a combination of Perseus, a term originating from Greek mythology, and robot. The mission for this machine is to protect people from potential threats and harm. It uses artificial intelligence linked with security cameras and is able to move around designated areas of a train station. The robot can then detect unfamiliar objects or people who are exhibiting so-called unusual behavior. K. Yokuta Seibu Railway earlier said that we are expecting an increase in domestic and international visitors as we get closer to the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. There might also be potential terrorism threats and we don't have enough staff to monitor all parts of the station at all times. This technology will enable us to monitor and react swiftly. 
In the event of a possible threat, Perseus Bot, which stands 170 centimeters tall and weighs 172 kilograms, will approach the subject and alert station staff via their mobile phones. We think many people might have seen robots patrolling buildings or on the streets, mingling with people in sci-fi movies, but it seems that these fellows are now being put to practical use, like this robot patrolling a busy Tokyo station. The Abe administration outlined an intensive five-year robot revolution strategy, including expanding the robot market to over 21 billion US dollars. Usage of robots is being encouraged in a variety of fields, including agriculture, nursing care, and security. And the major goal is for Japan to become a powerhouse in showcasing the most advanced robots yet to be seen. The Japanese railway company has said, we still need to improve artificial intelligence and other finer details for actual use in a busy station, but we are hopeful that the technology will rapidly improve and develop. Manufacturers are also conducting various tests with interactive robots in public and commercial spaces. Number 2. India India is the unique land of secularism, covered with vibrant colors and breathtaking places. India ranks third in the world in implementing robots in their core business process. The city of Kerala, that is famous for its ecotourism initiatives and beautiful backwaters, became the first city to use a robocop for police work. Police assigned a humanoid robocop to perform front desk duties. This robot is a 5 foot 7 inch tall smart police robot, weighing 43 kilograms. It can receive complaints, record audio and video clips. It can also detect metal, identify suspects, and monitor temperature. It is capable of assisting police in handling law and order and traffic management. Moreover, it can defuse bombs, receive complaints of citizens, and recognize criminals. It is the world's second humanoid robot after Dubai's Robocop. India aims to produce 10 such robots per year which can serve as private security guards and for hospitals, hotels, and offices. This robot is life-sized and it's named after 2611 martyr Himant Kakare. It possesses an array of senses like ultrasonic, proximity sensors, and temperature. Number 1. USA The USA, standing a bit different in this case, tried to replace guard dogs with digi-dogs. This four-legged robot is supposed to save lives and protect people and officers in critical situations. Initially, their motive is to go to places that are too dangerous to send officers to. However, long-term speaking, they would be most useful during hostage situations, hostile events, and barricades. These digi-dogs can climb stairs and record things that are going on in their surroundings. Digi-dogs are being sold by the company DogSpot. This robot has been used for inspection of dangerous sites with hazardous materials. During the pandemic, it was used as healthcare workers to communicate with the patients and to avoid human-to-human -human contact. The DigiDog has a 90-minute battery life and walks at a speed of 3 miles per hour. It's noisy and has flashing lights that can be counted as a con. In spite of that, everything about this device is impressive. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.